Dressing feminine is not just about slapping on a hot pink mini dress or adopting the look of a 1950s housewife. Feminine style is all about being flirtatious yet mature and using your outfits to convey a sense of allure. Some people are just naturally less feminine in their style and find that wearing girly outfits can make them feel awkward or self-conscious. So if you want to look more feminine in a way that feels authentic to you, you've come to the right place. Hi guys, I'm Juliana. On this channel, we explore how to cultivate an inner character and personal style that represents our best self. By the way guys, I'm going to be opening up my virtual styling services soon. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's signed up so far. I'm so grateful for all the support and interest that you've shown. But yeah, if you're looking for a way to elevate your style according to your personal body type, personality, and color season, definitely sign up for my waitlist. Don't worry, you're not committing to anything with this form. It's just a way for me to notify you guys when my services do go live. So make sure to check it out, I'll have everything linked below. This video is going to be the second part to my mini femininity series. So if you missed my first video on how to act more feminine, definitely check it out on my channel, I'll have it in the description as well. And if you like these tips but are not really sure where to start shopping for these styles, I've actually made a folder in my LDK of items that I've handpicked that I think really suit this feminine aesthetic. Hopefully this helps give you some more specific product recommendations. Like with everything else, I'll have my LTK linked in my description. To start, let's define what's considered feminine. A feminine style will make someone appear inviting, warm, and romantic. This can be great in social situations, especially if you feel like you tend to come off as more cold or reserved. Feminine is the mature counterpart to girly, although there is some overlap. Feminine styles tend to be more modest, as they don't focus as much on generating sexual appeal, but more of charisma and charm. In doing so, this style provides allure by accentuating the silhouette and figure of the individual. Now let's talk about the feminine color palette. It's not all pink, although that is a prominent color. But overall, it's going to be softer and more pastel shades. Things like rose, lilac, and soft yellows will fall under this category. So we want to lean into lighter and brighter colors. This is not to say that dark colors are unfeminine, but lighter shades will make a person look most open and friendly, both of which are important components to feminine energy. The only colors I would really avoid are medium bright shades, say like a medium green or orange. While there's nothing wrong with these, they can come off as a bit intense and clash with the softer feminine style. So the style does normally feature more muted colors, but you'll also see certain bright colors like orchid, red, or fuchsia. These are very eye-catching and will make you appear vibrant and full of life. If you're kind of intimidated by bright colors, neutrals with pops of color can be a great alternative. For instance, you can pair neutral clothes with a red handbag or a red lipstick. These accents will still be eye-catching, but just in a more understated way. When choosing tops, there are certain necklines that will appear most romantic. These include more open necklines like the Sweetheart, Cow, and Scoop. Also experiment with more unique necklines like the Queen Anne. For tank tops, I'd lean more towards spaghetti or tie straps rather than thicker straps. And although I don't think you need to show cleavage to appear feminine, look for tops that expose the decolletage. This can include things like off the shoulder or boat necklines, and these will add an air of opulence and class to any outfit, especially when paired with drop earrings. Choosing the right sleeves can also make your outfit more feminine. Puffed or cap sleeves will give your arms a graceful appearance, and bell sleeves can also be really fun to play with if you're into a more bohemian style. Some things to avoid are extremely stiff fabrics or boxy silhouettes. Instead, look for more soft and flowy fabrics like silk, chiffon, and satin. If you live in a colder climate and need something less floofy, cashmere knits will look luxurious and timeless. Faux fur, when done tastefully, can give you this old world glamour as well. There are also certain patterns and accents that can make your outfit more feminine. Floral is a quintessential pattern for feminine outfits, and there's so many options when it comes to floral. Smaller prints will suit a more mild personality or a daytime look, whereas bolder designs will suit a louder character or special occasions. And you can also experiment with flower appliques which have been trending recently. Something that not everyone may be on board with are bows. Now these can venture very quickly into more campy territory, but they are undeniably feminine details that can elevate your outfit and make you appear more playful. Things like pleats and ruffles would be great because they add more movement and texture to your outfit. You can incorporate them into almost every single one of your clothing pieces, from your dresses to your skirts to your tops. And in terms of dress silhouettes, honestly I think it's going to depend most on your body type. So although the most classic feminine dress is one that's maybe flowy with more ruffles, you may suit a bodycon dress better if you have an hourglass or a pear shape. There's also no one specific skirt length. I maybe stray away from super short dresses because they won't look as flowy, but many mini dresses can still look very feminine. 
fashion. One thing I think is super important to have though is waist definition. In other words, you want to find dresses that cinch the waist. This will help to show off your silhouette and your curve and will encourage a more romantic and feminine appearance. Skirts are a great way to look more classically feminine and when done tastefully, I think any skirt length is going to work. I'm partial to a mini skirt myself, but I found that midi lengths tend to give you the most romantic effect. For any length, look for styles that flare out as this will accentuate your silhouette best. But still, certain fitted styles like the pencil skirt will make you look timeless and sophisticated. For pants, you want to lean more into wide leg styles. There's nothing wrong with skinnier fits, but it won't look as flowy and breathable as their wider counterparts. So look for wide straight leg or flared trousers that cinch at the waist. Again, we want to focus on emphasizing the waist as this will best complement our overall figure. And lastly, in terms of jewelry, opt for more delicate draped styles. You don't want to go for anything too bulky as they can look overpowering. So instead of a thick chain, try a more delicate pendant necklace. Instead of chunky hoops, try diamond studs or drop earrings. There's definitely nothing wrong with bolder styles, they just don't tend to complement the feminine aesthetic that we're going for. Definitely comment what style tool has made you feel more feminine. Again, definitely sign up for the waitlist if you're interested in elevating your style. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. I do a lot of outfit inspo and beauty videos on there. But yeah, that's all I have for you for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!